also very big skip so I'm gonna show first how to do the algorithms and then I'm gonna start by explaining the steps and if you have any questions you can comment below so let's start I'm gonna mix this So I mix this rubric skip. You can ask anyone to mix it for you if you want. But first I'm gonna teach the algorithms and the directions for them. So when I talk about them, you are not confused. So when I say front, I mean this front like that. Front country clockwise, the other side. If I say right, that means I'm taking the right side up. And if I'm, thinking, I'm saying right counterclockwise, it's down like that. If I say up, that means that. When I say up counterclockwise, it's this side. When I say left, that means I take left like that. And if I say left counterclockwise, I'm taking it up like this. If I say down, that means I'm taking it to the right. So if I say down counterclockwise, I'm taking it to the left. If I say back, that means I'm turning this like that. If I say back counterclockwise, that means I'm turning it like this. Since now I told you algorithms and that you know them, I'm gonna start saying the steps with the algorithms. And if you have any questions or you think I'm going too fast, you can pause the video and watch it again. So. The first thing we need to do here is create a white cross. There's multiple steps and um, different ways people can do that. I'm going to show my way and I'm going to show another way that I've seen people do it. First, I would just find the white edges that I'm going to be putting here. So let's see, we have this two white. I'm just going to turn them like this and then turn it up like that. By the way, the middle color of every face is what color it will be. So if this is white in the middle, that means all of this is going to be white. So we're going to be working on our white cross here. So let's find the other ones. This is white here, so I just turn it up. And then there's white here, so I just turn it down like that. Now we have a cross. The next step is match the colors with the middle color of each face. Since this is not faced correctly, I'm going to show you how to do it. There's a specific steps you have to do for that. Let me show you the algorithms here. If you have the colors here matching both, you just hold it to your left. If they're both across from each other, it doesn't matter how you hold it. So just do right, up counterclockwise, that counterclockwise, up, right. Now we got two the same color. What I do is, since I have two next to each other, I hold it to my left hand, the, the one that's matching on my left, and do the algorithm again. So I'm gonna do right, up counterclockwise, right counterclockwise, up, right. Now we have all of them matching. See? They're matching. The next step is how to do the corners. And there's no specific algorithm for that. I'm just going to explain to you how you do that. It just needs a common sense. You're just going to be putting the corners into the right spot. So let me explain how you're going to do that. You're going to find the colors that match it. So I have here white, blue, and orange. So I'm gonna find where the white, blue, and orange is. White, blue, and orange. So this one is gonna be here. Since that's gonna be here, I'm gonna turn it to my left. I'm going to the, do this. I got it up. This was already up. So let's find another one. We have this here, orange, green, and white. Orange, green, and white. So that's gonna be here. What we do is, we take the bottom to the left. And then I take the right down, turn this like that, and then turn it back up. 
now you have it now let's take this to our bottom layer so we can work it up what I do if this is up here I take it down like that and now I'm gonna I'm gonna need this to be here what I do is I turn it twice and then I turn this down turn it back up here now we have our first layer done as you can see they're the same colors like that since I showed you how to do my own way to make a white cross I'm going to show you how other people do it too so they work from this side so they bring the colors matching on the yellow like this that's fine so they put all the edges in the middle like that and when they have all colors the same they just turn it down and now they have them all the same that's a different way you can try if you want you can choose whatever way it's easier for you and now we're gonna work on the second layer to do the edges here and there is an algorithm I'm going to be showing you for that. I have two formulas here. I'm going to show you which one is for which. So just follow along with me. What we do is we need to find the colors that matching. So let's say we have blue and orange. So we turn it to the side where there's blue and orange. Blue and orange is on this side. So I'm going to be turning this to the right when I'm working. That means I'm doing up counterclockwise. So let's use this formula. If you have a color that's matching on your left, that means you're gonna be turning it to your right. So if I had here, let's say red, that means I was gonna turn it this way when I start. But since it's orange and it's on this side, I'm gonna start with up counterclockwise. So let's do that. Up counterclockwise, left, up, left counterclockwise, up, front, up counterclockwise, front counterclockwise. And as you can see, I put it here. Now let's find the other one. I have green and red. Let's turn it to the green side. Green. The red is on our left, so we're gonna do the same formula. Up counterclockwise. Up counterclockwise. Left. Up. Left counterclockwise. Up. Front. Up counterclockwise. And then front. And now I got my color here. Next, let's find another one. I have red and blue. Let's find red and blue. Red, blue is on this side, so we're gonna do the same formula. Up counterclockwise, left, up, left counterclockwise, up, front, up counterclockwise, front counterclockwise. And now I got it here. So we have one more, which is this. So now let me show you this. If you have it on this side, so if you want to get this on your right, like here, we're going to be using a different formula. We're going to be using this one. So if I have a color that I'm trying to get it here, I'm going to turn up, right, up counterclockwise, right counterclockwise, up counterclockwise, front counterclockwise up and then front and then you got your color here so now we're done with the second layer now we have to work on our last layer so what I'm gonna do is I need to make a yellow cross on the top so there is an algorithm for that this one so let's say you have a yellow L like that standing here you hold it this side of you and then you perform this algorithm 
if you have a yellow line in the middle you hold it this way so let's say I have a yellow here a yellow so I would work on it this side so what I do is I do front right up right counterclockwise up counterclockwise and a front counterclockwise and now I got a yellow line here so as I told you you hold it this side and you do the same formula again front right up right counterclockwise up counterclockwise and a front counterclockwise and now we got a yellow cross the next step is to make all this up here yellow and there's a formula for this this so you just keep repeating that and I'm gonna show you how so you hold it whatever side if you have a yellow like this but if you have yellow here or here I'm gonna show you what you need to do right up right counterclockwise up right up up and then right counterclockwise when you have a yellow on one of the corners you're gonna hold it on your left side and work from there if you have two yellows you're gonna be working on the side that there is no yellow and performing this algorithm so since I have a yellow here I'm just gonna do that right up right counterclockwise up right up up right counterclockwise and now we have all yellow here we need to have two colors the same on one of the faces let's look I don't have it now I'm gonna change the formula it's this one so what we do is you hold it from any side if you don't have two colors the same if you end up having two colors the same somewhere hold it across from you when you're working so all I do is right counterclockwise front right counterclockwise back back right front counterclockwise right counterclockwise back So I, I, I hold them across from me when I'm working now. So what we do, we do the same formula again. Right counterclockwise, front, right counterclockwise, back, back, right, front counterclockwise, right counterclockwise, back, back, right counterclockwise, right counterclockwise, or right, right, it doesn't matter. So now we got two on each the same color and we have one that's the same color if you have if you don't have one the same color it's okay just perform the same formula I'm gonna show you so I'm gonna show you the other formula to do this edges so if you have a three colors already matching you hold it from across and work from there right up counterclockwise right up right up right up counterclockwise right counterclockwise up counterclockwise and then right right you're gonna do it again since that didn't since it just changed it changed this right up counterclockwise right up, right, up, right, up counterclockwise, right counterclockwise, up counterclockwise, right, right, and you have the loopy scoop solved. If you think I didn't explain it well, maybe you're gonna find a different video for you that explains it better, but this is how I solve the replace cube and thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please comment below and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.